there's never a shortage of visitors at the Koala Brothers homestead. Bye, Penny. Come back soon. Oh, I'd better dash, Ned. Alice is coming over for supper. I need to tidy up the house. Oh, that's nice. Ned the Little Wombat really wished that he could have a visitor like Frank and Buster. Good day, all. How you skittling? Hi, George. Hi, George. Right. Let's have a little look-see. Hmm. Just the one for Mitzi today. Oh, thanks, George. Who's it from, Mitzi? Oh, it's from Archie. He's invited me to tea tomorrow. Hmm, I've got to find something nice to wear. Goody. <gasps> Another satisfied customer. Bye, Ned. Bye, George. Good day, Alice. Hi, George. Now Mitzi was visiting Archie and Alice was visiting the Koala Brothers, Ned really wished there was someone special to visit him. That's when he had an idea. Ah. The next morning, Mitzi overheard Ned talking to someone in his caravan. She wondered who it was. Oh, I'm really glad you came to visit Big Benny. We're going to do lots of great things together. Meanwhile, Frank and Buster were cleaning the plane. Hey, Frank, what's Mitzi up to? Hey, Mitzi, what are you doing? I'm trying to see. <coughs> Ned's talking to someone called Big Benny. He didn't say anyone was coming to stay. I never saw anyone arrive either. We should say hello. You're right, Buster. Let's give Ned's visitor a nice big outback welcome. Hello, Frank. Hello, Buster. Hello, Ned. We've come to say hello. And to give your friend a nice big outback welcome. Did you hear that, Big Benny? It's Frank and Buster. Hello, Big Benny. Thank you. <gasps> Thanks for the cookies. I'm taking Big Benny for a picnic. Keep up, Big Benny. Frank and Buster were confused. Ned seemed to be talking to his friend, but they couldn't see anyone. That's because Ned's visitor was a pretend friend. Ned had made Big Benny up. There you go, Big Benny. Would you like a cookie? So then, Ned, how can I cool you down? Two strawberry swirls, please, Lolly. Two? You must be hot today. No. One of them is for my friend, Big Benny. He's my visitor. Oh, it's nice when friends come to stay. Mmm. Tooey! Ah, oh, thanks, Ned. Is one of those for me? Uh, well, actually, no. What? They're both for you? Sorry, Mitzi. One's for Big Benny. Where is he? Come on, Big Benny. Race you to the homestead. Pretty soon, everyone was talking about Ned's mysterious visitor. I've never heard Ned mention Big Benny before. Me neither. I've never heard of any kind of Benny, big or small. Who Guess what? Ned's talking to himself. We know. Oh? We're wondering how we can help. I've got it. We could invite Ned and Big Benny to supper. Then we can see if Ned's okay. Good idea, Frank. Frank and Buster waited and waited for Ned and Big Benny to turn up. Supper was getting cold. Oh, sorry I'm late. Big Benny couldn't decide what to wear for supper. Uh, 
Better late than never. Uh, <coughs> uh, Buster's cooked your favourite, Billy Beans. Great. You love Billy Beans too, don't you, Big Benny? Great. I can't see anyone, Frank. I know. Even though they couldn't see Ned's friend, Frank and Buster did their best to help him feel at home. Oh. Mm. Thanks for supper. It was lovely, wasn't it, Big Benny? Well, I think we'd better be getting back. Uh, Ned? Yes, Buster? We were wondering if you were all right. Sure. Oh, good. Um, because we sort of noticed that Big Benny isn't that big. Actually, we can't see him at all, Ned. I know. That's because I made Big Benny up. Oh. Why did you do that, Ned? Because everyone has visitors apart from me. I just wanted my own visitor. Someone to stay, even if it was a pretend friend. Do you see? We understand, Ned. Well, good night then. Night, Ned. <sighs> Poor Ned. All he wanted was someone to visit him. I wish we could help him, Frank. We can, Buster. I've got an idea. The next morning, Buster came into town with letters inviting everyone to visit Ned. Morning, George. Oh, oh. Uh, hello, Buster. You're up early. I wanted to catch you. These are urgent. Oh, now, at all. Oh, this one's for me. Later on, Ned was wondering what it would be like to have a real visitor of his own. What you doing, Ned? Oh, hi, Mitzi. Just thinking. Where's your friend? Big Benny. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Ha, ha, hello! Hi, Archie. If you want Buster, he's in the house. I'm not visiting Buster. Oh, no, Mr Ned. I've come to visit you. Me? Ha, ah, yes, Mr Ned. Here's a little gift. Chocolates. Oh, can I be your visitor too, Ned? Sure, Mitzi. Good day, all. Hi, Hi Sunny. Sunny. Good day, Ned. I thought I'd pop by and say hello. Well, that, that's great, Sammy. Hi, Ned. This is for you. I always like to bring something when I'm visiting. But, but how did you all know I wanted a visitor? <sighs> I invited them. It was Frank's idea. Thanks, Buster. If you want a visitor, Ned, you've always got to invite them first. Oh! Well, I wish Frank was here. Then I could say thank you. You're in luck, Ned. There he is. And it looks like he's got someone else to see you. Penny! Yay! Ho oh, ho, Mr. Ned. What a popular chap you are. Great idea, Frank. Oh, thanks, Buster. Oh, uh, I'm not late, am I? No, George, you're right on time. Thanks to the Koala Brothers, Ned finally had some real visitors of his own. And Ned learnt that if he ever wanted someone to visit, all he had to do was send a little invitation. <laughs> Shout. Hey, hey, hey.